Hello, everybody. Uh, it's nice to have everybody here. I'm very, very excited uh, to commence this cleaning best practices webinar. My name is Avery. I am a customer success manager here at Connect Team. And basically, this webinar is for you. And let's talk a little bit about what we're going to go through in the next about 30 minutes. Why are we here? We did a lot of research before this webinar, and we wanted to give you the best tools and practices to really run your business. We went through each and every company that we see that are using Connect Team, and we wanted to see what are the things that you guys are using? How do you run your business with Connect Team? And this is what we want to show you now. Not only do we want to make your life easier, we want to show you what are really the must-haves that you need to have within Connect Team to run your business smoothly. After that, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and some new capabilities that came out that could really be super beneficial for you. And maybe you never heard of them before, which is a plus for everybody. And then a few things that I think you should see. Maybe you haven't touched it yet. And maybe it's just something that you haven't been that interested in about. But I think it would be super, super beneficial for you. All right. Now, a few guidelines before we jump into everything. Feel free to ask questions. We have our team here ready to answer any question that you might have, but please make sure that you do this in the Q&A section and not in the chat. Although, if you wanna show some love, you can use the chat, write something to everybody that's here or everybody that will be watching this recording later on. And again, we have our team here. So if you just wanna say hi, that's great as well. Now, like I said, this is recorded and this will be sent out to you who has uh, registered for this webinar and other companies that might be interested in getting this information. So don't worry, it will be available for you once we're done. And at the end, this is for you, all right? And we wanna create as much stuff and as much content that would be beneficial for you and will give you a lot of value. So your feedback is so important for us. Once this webinar is finished, you will get a survey. And if you can give us your feedback regarding anything that you'd like to see more or anything that you'd like to change based on what you're gonna hear now, it will be very much appreciated. So with this great introduction, uh, let's jump into things, all right? Now, like I said, we did a bunch of research before commencing this webinar regarding how uh, cleaning companies use the product. And we wanna give you like a flow of a, your day-to-day -day, from the moment a customer calls you and wants your services to how you build their job, how you get information, and at the end, how you even do payroll and even maybe recognize one of your employees for doing an amazing job. Now, let's say you got a call from a customer asking for any type of services that you might provide, regular cleaning, deep cleaning, maybe it's for offices, renovation cleaning, et cetera the first thing that you want to do is go to your job scheduler right here. All right, go to my cleaning one. And then the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create the job. Now, I'm assuming that you already know how to create jobs and how to use them. But I do think there are two main things that you should be aware and use in order to make your life easier, specifically if you're going to use the open shift capability. All right, you want to make sure that only uh, employees that should claim this shift would be able to do so. So in order for me to add a new customer, of course, I go to my jobs and I add a job. Now let's give this guy a name. Let's say his name is Avery and he needs something for his house. The first thing that you need to make sure in order for the right employees to be able to get this assignment or even uh, claim it is using the right people, okay? So this could be either a regular user that you wanna pick manually or something that you've created with a smart group based on your services, like if it's regular cleaning, deep cleaning, et cetera, all right? So for this example, I'm gonna choose everybody. And then the great thing that we've added recently that maybe you haven't heard about before are the sub jobs. So for example, if we're going to Avery's house to do some sort of service, 
maybe from time to time, every needs a different kind of service. Maybe one time it's deep cleaning, maybe it's a renovation cleaning, or maybe it's something else. So we can create sub services for that main job, which is of course your customer. In order for you to do that, you click the sub job and then just give it a name, all right? And I would recommend it will be your service. So this will be regular cleaning save the changes and as you can see the main job is right here and the sub job is already created and i can make another one this will be deep cleaning and then of course you can assign uh, a shift according to that sub jobs and later on i'll show you how do you actually see how many hours you've allocated for each service so then it will really help you out when it's time for invoicing i'm going to save the changes and as you can see, it's going to appear right here and I can see my sub jobs and can see my regular jobs. And of course, if you need to change anything, you click the settings, you change anything according to what you want. Okay, so this is what we recommend using in terms of how to create jobs and how to use them within the job scheduler and what we've seen our top companies, our top cleaning companies use. Okay. Now, after I've added a job and my customer is already ready to be scheduled, I want to make sure that my employees know enough to actually perform the job, okay? So what we wanna do is create kind of a knowledge base. And we've seen different companies use different features, but I would recommend using the knowledge base. This is a great place for you to put all of your information, all of your customers, all of your protocols or any type of information that your employee needs in one place and has easy access for that, all right? So as you can see, I've created a customer list based on my jobs right here. And for each one, I've created the client info and pictures of the property so they can actually see where they're supposed to go, what they're supposed to clean, okay? And from the user's point of view, it's super easy. I go to my assets, then I go to my knowledge base and everything is super uh, accessible. I click the customer list and I have all of the information. And if I click that, I have the client info, contact address. Of course, you can customize it according to what you want. And if I wanna see any pictures, you can see a little bit of our offices and you can even see our little dog, Billy, that's going on in the hallways. And this is a great way for your employees to get ready and to have all of the information for their shift before they actually arrive there. And another wonderful thing about this is the search options. So let's say you're a big company with a lot of clients. In order for your employee to search for that uh, information, they can either go manually or if they're going to go to a specific location in somebody's house or certain office, they can actually search here and then they can see any pictures based on what they write. So again, super easy access for employees. They know that it's all in one place and you can even put that knowledge base as a shortcut on their shift, right? Now, of course, different capabilities come with different plans depending on your plan, but it is an amazing feature and amazing capability for you to have, all right? So I would recommend putting everything in one place it could be a customer list. It could be any information regarding any uh, materials that uh, your employees are gonna use or any instructions regarding specific tools like a vacuum that sometimes it needs specific care, all right? So when it's time to actually send out your employee and your employee went there, it did his job wonderful, but you wanna make sure that he did his job correctly. So we went go over to the reports and we saw that all companies use three must have reports. The first one is a safety awareness report. It's a great way for you to make sure that your employees are aware of any dangers or any safety hazard that might come their way. And they of course sign on that they approve and everything is okay. In terms of insurance purposes and making sure everybody's protected, it's super important for you to have. Now, God forbid if something happens, you also want an incident report. That way, your employee will have easy access to a form for him to fill out, give you all the information regarding what happened, so you have full information. You can forward that to your insurance company, and God forbid, lawyers or something like that, you have all of the information here. 
But the most used and the most important one for you to have is the end of cleaning report. This is something that a lot of companies use and basically it simplifies your entire working process because the forms feature, as you know, gives you live and exact information from your employees back to you regarding what they do, regarding even something that is HR related like reimbursement report, something like that. They can add images, they can add their location, etc. So this is something that could be really simple for you to receive. And I'm going to show you how to build an internal process building off one of your forms. All right. So as you can see here, we have our form lobby with all of the information. And of course, when I want to see the entries, I see it right here. Now, an example of a report that we have made for you is something that looks like this. You put the customer name, the job date, the job location, if necessary the job type, so you'll know what is it regarding about. And of course, you can invoice your uh, customer later on. What was done specifically, and the most important part is pictures. We've talked to many, many companies, and a lot of them complained about customers calling them, complaining about the services uh, they received. Here you have solid information and solid proof that everything was done correctly and there is no waste of time no reaching out to your employees checking what happened and then of course they can even sign off on that and you'll get all of the information now when we're talking about an internal process this is where you're going to see it i'm going to show you all the entries and as you can see here we've already prepared quite a few for you to see in terms of communication i can also request more information for example, I see here in the comment section, I requested Ben to give me more images of the cleaned areas if I need so. So in terms of communication, that is super important. No more calling, no more emailing, texting. Everything is on the system, right? And when I want to take care of this and to do uh, an internal process for my company, I'm going to click the manager fields option right here. And I've prepared an example for you for what we've seen with our customers do. So the process is you assign an employee to a job, they arrive there, they do their job, they clean the, the property, and then they fill out the form. You, as the company, you need to invoice your customer based on the services you've provided. Now, this could be project based, and this could be for the entire month, depending on how you want to run this. So what we've done here, we've actually created fields for you to fill out as the admin, so you'll know what you've done with that specific form. So we've did, we did a status column, which we called uh, invoice issued, and then you can change the different statuses on whether you've done this or not. You can add a note to it, the date when it's performed, and once you've actually issued the uh, invoice, you can upload it here and you'll have everything in one place. So connecting is not only about running your employees, having their information time tracking. You can also run your business through here and have everything in one place, having all of the information that you really, really need, right? Now, of course, you can have these fields be visible to your user if you want to, and you can customize it according to your business needs. But we've seen that cleaning companies use this and it saves them so much time, so much money. You can really, really work your business in a much more efficient way like this, all right? Now, of course, I remind you, if you have any questions, feel free to write anything down, or even if you want to learn more, you can go to our help center and learn more about features that you are not familiar with. Now, after we've received the information from the forms, we've actually maybe issued an invoice, we can go and do payroll and kind of track any information regarding the jobs that we had. It's time to go to the time clock. And there are two things that I want to show you here that are relevant for you. I assume at this point, all of you know how to use the time clock, how it works, and how to really manipulate the system in your benefit. But because we talked about the sub jobs before, and we kind of talked about how to utilize them, I want to show you in the job insights that you can actually see all of the information here in terms of how many hours you're allocating per service. So you can know that if you're going to Avery's house for a deep cleaning one time and then a regular cleaning, and it becomes a repetitive thing, you can actually see how much time and what kind of services this client receives. This is great for you to know 
if you want to maybe change your rating, maybe you need to invoice in a different way. This gives you a lot of insights. Again, not only about running your business and getting information for your employees, but kind of creating this whole ecosystem that you'll know would work in your benefit. All right. Now, one thing else that I do want to show you is actually from the user's side. Now, it's a new capability that you've created, and maybe you haven't heard it before, but if you have, that's already great. I hope you're using this already. If I go to my time clock right here into the cleaning, as an employee, all I need to do again is just click the start shift button and select the relevant job that I'm going to. Let's, for this example, choose the HSBC offices. Again, I've created sub jobs, and I'm going to pick the first floor so quickly and the clock starts ticking. I went through the offices, I cleaned everything that I'm supposed to, and maybe I'm supposed to go to another office for that same company or even a different company nearby. What I can do instead of clocking out, starting a break, maybe clocking back again, doing all these manual things, you created a new capability for you, which is called switch jobs. I just click here, select the new job that I'm going to do. Let's pick for this example, HSBC offices, second floor, and it switches and the clock starts ticking again. And I can see all of the information of my entire day. And of course, you're going to see that on the schedule. So you're getting much more accurate timing regarding everything that was done from the user point of view. This is a new capability. If you're not using this already, go use it right now. It's so good. Now, Let's go back to our uh, desktop. And then I want to talk to you about one more thing. Sometimes it's really, really good for you to keep track of everything, get all the information, follow your uh, employees' time sheets, go over their job insights. But from time to time, if you want to keep your employees happy, satisfied, engaged, and you want to keep them with you, we've created two really amazing uh, features. And we've seen that many companies are starting to use it, and it attracts so much engagement. The first one is the recognitions uh, feature. Now, two recognitions that we've seen a lot of companies use are the two examples that I've created for you right here. The first one is the customer favorite. We've seen that an employee that gets good feedback from customers gets a recognition from their boss. Now, this could be something that only the customer can see. Uh, the employee, sorry, can see, or you can show this to the entire company and really give good feedback for your employee on a job well done. Another thing that we've seen a lot of people use is the anniversary recognition. This is another great way for you to recognize your employees, have them really feel appreciated, and by then, doing a good job. If somebody feels appreciated and somebody feels seen, they will perform so much better. Now, this is just one example for you to really recognize and appreciate your uh, employee. Another way for you, let's say somebody has an anniversary, you can also give them a reward. Now, the rewards feature is a great way for you to give your uh, employees any gift cards or any real money to go out and really spend something for themselves. And it's a great way to recognize them. All right. So as you've seen before, the, in the example, we have our customer favorite. And I've decided to grant Dahlia 10 tokens that she can use later on by uh, using them as a gift card. You have many, many uh, cards for you to use depending on your specific location. Many companies that we work with and you can create um, gift cards with your employees. You can easily purchase them and give them out to your employees. We've seen so many responses from customers, our customers, of course, uh, regarding this feature. Their employees are so much happier. They're working so much more efficiently and really creating a really good uh, atmosphere and environment for their business. And by hence, increasing their efficiency for the entire business whatsoever. So we went over the entire cycle of how you can use the platform just with the basic day-to-day -day tools that you need to have. We went over the scheduling and we recommended you for you to use the qualifications and the sub jobs, all right? This is super important. 
Another thing that we said is the knowledge base. Use this to create some sort of a knowledge base for your employees to get all of the information that they need with easy access and with search options. The third thing that we talked about is the reports. Three must-have reports, all right? The safety awareness report, incident report, and the most important one, the end of cleaning report with pictures, location, with uh, your employee's signature, and with the process afterwards to really control and make an internal process for your business. For me, this is a must-have for everybody. Even if you don't want to use it later, you have to. And then the last thing that we talked about regarding the day-to-day -day is the time clock. Use the switch jobs make your user's life so much easier by using that. And of course, go over the times and hours you're allocating per job and per sub job to really make your business as business efficient as possible. And the cherry on top is to have you recognize your employees by giving them a recognition on the platform or giving them rewards so they can use to uh, get gift cards for them to use. This could be for an anniversary, holiday, etc. Now, this is it, guys. There is a lot more that you can do and a lot more questions that you can ask, I'm sure. Feel free to reach out to your customer success manager or anybody within the Connecting family. We are here for you. Feel free. We are here to help you grow and enjoy to seeing your business grows with us. Again, thank you so much for joining us. 